The Boy from Troy, a title given to none other than the late Congressman John Robert Lewis, who will now have a historical marker at his birthplace in Troy, Alabama. The marker, which tells Lewis's life story, was unveiled on Saturday and is one way the John R. Lewis Legacy Institute is working to continue his legacy. I'm sorry it had to be done uh, after my uncle passed, but he gave us our marching orders to uh, carry on after he passed. And uh, who else better than doing it than his family to carry on his legacy? Lewis was a civil rights legend who marched in the March on Washington, the Bloody Sunday March in Selma, and got into what he called good trouble throughout his life. But that life started here, on his family's farm in Pike County, where he impacted the lives of many local residents, like Troy's mayor, Jason Reeves. The Lewis family has been part of my life all my life. And so, um, just being here today, being able to see this marker unveiled, being part of this celebration, knowing that people from all over the world will be able to come and, and see where John Robert Lewis became John Robert Lewis. Um, and the fact that that's in uh, Troy, Alabama uh, brings us so much pride and appreciation. Michael Collins, Lewis's former chief of staff, spoke at the ceremony, passing on words from the vice president. Collins says that after working with Lewis for 21 years, that the city of Troy went with Lewis everywhere. This is an embodiment of his life and his legacy. Anywhere he traveled around the world, uh, he talked about Troy. He carried uh, the teachings of his mother and father, his faith, all around the world, and he never missed an opportunity to tell it, the story. During the ceremony, family members, a former college roommate, and an inspired teen spoke about the effect Lewis had on their lives, all saying how Lewis motivated them to get into good trouble in their communities and across the nation. After the unveiling, the attendees were taken to church with a soulful performance to close out the day. Georgia Clark, Troy, Trojan Vision News.